Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and this month we're going to take another look at the awesome Plex Amp music player and the reason why we're looking at it again is because up until now you needed to be a Plex Pass subscriber in order to use Plex Amp but now it is available on the free tier. Some of the features are not available but most of them are and what I thought I would do in this video is show you what the free tier looks like on Plex Amp and I think if you are listening to music on your Plex server with the Plex app on the free tier, you should definitely download Plex Amp and use that instead because it is an awesome music player and now free. So we're going to get into this in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this app is all about. Now, PlexAmp requires that you connect up to a Plex personal media server, either one that you're operating or one that a friend is operating and sharing with you, and it will allow you to switch between servers on the fly so you can connect to your own and then go to your friends if you want later. It's not hard to do. You just pop up the settings thing here and switch the source over. This also works with the Tidal music service, and there's some really cool integrations where you can kind of fill in your library based on what Tidal has in theirs. And because Tidal offers lossless audio, you can get very good quality out of it. Now, what I am doing on my personal Plex server is storing all of my CDs that I collected back in high school in the 90s. And I've been slowly ripping them into lossless FLAC files so I can get the best possible audio quality. So I am subscribed to YouTube Music, for example, but the audio quality there is not so great because things are highly compressed. What's nice about my personal media collection here on Plex is that I've got everything ripped pretty much as the original audio source from the CD. So I've got the best possible quality, and it's amazing how far music quality has deteriorated even though everything else in our lives is super high resolution. You can also go out and buy lossless tracks from a number of online shops as well if you wanted to source some new ones. And that's what I've been doing here is basically getting all of my favorite music uh, ripped as lossless and on my Plex server. Now if you've never set up a Plex server before, I've got a lot of helpful videos down below in the video description to get you going. I also have one specifically about music libraries and how to best get those set up. The good news for music is that it's not as demanding on a server as video is. So if you were just looking to have something specifically for music, you could run it on your PC in the background or even on a very uh, low-end network attached storage device because the processing requirements are not significant for music. But let's get on to Plex Amp here and what you get now for free. And one of the things that I love about Plex Amp is that it's really geared towards helping you find the tracks inside of your library that you haven't thought about in a while or that you haven't listened to in a while. And a lot of it's driven around that kind of discovery or rediscovery of your favorite music. Now what you can do is go into the little music icon here and browse by artists and dig into your albums that way. You can also look at albums here. You can look at compilations and all the, the sorts of things that you typically see in a music player. But where I think Plex Amp really shines is back on that discovery component. And if I scroll down here, you can see they've got some things here called stations. And so if you wanted to listen to some of the oldest tracks on your library, you can go right here to Time Travel Radio and just start playing some of the oldest tracks in your library and then it will work its way forward from there. You also have, of course, random audio selections here that you can choose. And they also have something called style radio. And what this will do is give you different styles of music based on how Plex has organized things in the database. So if I just wanted to listen to alternative pop rock, I could hit that and just get those kinds of songs. Likewise, they've got one here called mood. And here I can pick a mood that I'm in and they've got quite a number of them here. I didn't even know there was this many moods to have and you can get music that largely follows that mood so you can maintain your vibe throughout the day here. And they also have something here called Decade Radio. As you can see right now, I'm pretty limited to just two decades, but as you add more uh, different types of music to the mix here, it will give you more decades that you can listen to and again, just really rediscover a lot of the things that are in your library. This also syncs all of its data back to your Plex database. So if you have smart playlists set up, for example, based on how often you listen to something or what the rating is, it all syncs up across the board.
Now the playback experience is awesome on Plex Amp, and as you can see here, you've got a visualization of the waveform of the song and where we are at in it. I can jump ahead to different parts here, as you can see, and for songs that have a lot of variation in their sound, you'll see it visually here, maybe skip to the favorite part of the song as you're playing. Down here, you've got your rating, and this will sync up with your Plex server. As you can see, we're also playing a FLAC file. One of the cool things about PlexAmp is its awesome visualizations. So this is one of them here. And if you tap and hold, you can change them to some of these other ones here that go in sync with the music. And this works across platforms. So on the PC, you can make it a lot larger, for example. But it looks pretty cool. You've got a lot of different options here for looking at different visualizations depending on the song. And then, of course, you can put the album artwork back up if you want. But there are, of course, some limitations on the free tier here. The big one, I think, is that you can't download music for offline playing. So you've got to be online all the time in order to make use of Plex Amp. And in the settings here, you can see a bunch of other features that are disabled, namely downloads along with Sonic Sage, which is their feature that listens to the music and finds tracks that sound sonically similar to each other. Those are really cool. But it does work with CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can get it up on your car's dashboard. Additionally, you've got a lot of the features that are pretty popular on PlexAmp, and that includes things like their sweet fades and gapless playback along with their loudness leveler. And you can also make some adjustments to how things look and feel. So you do get a good amount of control over things, but some of the advanced features you're not going to have access to on here. Also missing on the free tier are some of their mix builders, like their really neat artist mix builder here, where you can select artists from your library here and build out a mix. As you can see here, that's locked out uh, on the PlexPass side. But you can make playlists through the app. So for example, if I am inside of this Nirvana album here, I can tap on Add To, and I can add a new playlist here for Nirvana songs that I like or something. So you do have some ability to create playlists manually, but some of those other automated features are not available if you don't have the Plex Pass. But you do get a bulk of the feature set if you have connectivity back to your Plex server or one at a friend's house. On that topic, you also have the ability to transcode the audio so in my case, I have those larger FLAC files stored there, but maybe when I'm out and about on the cellular side, I want to compress them into something a little smaller to save the bandwidth. And what you can do is go into the playback options here and go over to streaming quality. And here you can set different options based on your network type. So on cellular, as you can see here, I have it set to 160 K bits per second. What will happen here on the server side is that it will take that FLAC file and compress it down in real time to 160 K bits per second MP3 format, basically, so I don't have to consume as much upstream bandwidth. But when I get home, the lossless audio starts streaming back again. You can, of course, set it to maximum on both. So if you've got good 5G service here, you can get as good of an experience outside of the home as you do inside of it. Now you can use the free version of Plex Amp on iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. There's also a headless version that is still requiring the Plex Pass for the Raspberry Pi. We'll cover that in more detail in an upcoming video. That works a little differently than the rest of the clients do. Additionally, you also have the option on the free tier to send your audio to a Chromecast compatible device. So you just hit that Chromecast icon and you can send your music elsewhere and that is available on the free side. If you're curious as to the full set of features you get for free and what you have to pay for, you can see this screen here from the Plex website to get a feel for what each tier is going to bring you now. But up until a few weeks ago, none of this stuff was available at all on the free tier for Plex Amp. So it's great to see more people getting access to this awesome music player. And if you have questions, leave them in the comment section and that will help inform future content here. But we have dived into a lot of the features of PlexAmp in prior videos, and I've got a special playlist just for, uh, for PlexAmp, which you'll find also in the video description. So that's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, 
Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic KGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.